bathtub. Today I'm going to be sharing a little bit of information with you about handmade soap. Now handmade soap is the very first beauty product that I learned how to make for myself and it really is the catalyst that started this whole thing that now ends me up in the Indie Beauty bathtub. We're going to talk about handmade soap today I'm going to tell you just a little bit about what ingredients are used to make it. The first ingredient that you need to make handmade soap is oil. Now this is obviously olive oil. That's a really good ingredient in handmade soap, but you can use just about any kind of vegetable oil that you desire. Coconut oil is a really popular ingredient in handmade soap because it boosts the lather. The next ingredient you need is water. It's pretty simple and easy to come by. The third ingredient that you need is sodium hydroxide, which is the fancy word for lye. Now, lye is an ingredient that you don't want to play around with, so when you make handmade soap, you need to um, get a really good book that teaches you how to do it, or better yet, take a class, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in a second. So you get the oil, the water, the lye, and then you can add some fragrance. And this here is a really cool bottle of lavender oil that smells really good. I use this in my bathtub every now and then. So anyway, those are the ingredients that you need. So I have got some wonderful handmade soaps to share with you right now. Now, these were made by Indie Beauty Network member Lori Nova. She owns the Nova Studio in Point Richmond, California, which is just outside San Francisco. Now, not only does Lori make soap, but she also teaches soap making classes. So if you want to learn how to make soap, then you'll want to visit thenovastudio.com so you can find out when her classes are when they're coming up. So let me show you some of these cool soaps. First of all, we have this lemon poppy seed soap which is made with lemon essential oil and you can actually see the poppy seeds that are evenly distributed and, and give the soap texture and really make it a lot of fun to use. The next soap that we have here is, I think this is a lavender scented soap, but you can see that it's also textured, it's got some color in there, it smells really good and it lathers really beautifully. And the last one we have here, I can't remember the exact fragrance, but I know there's some clary sage essential oil in here. And you can see if I turn it to the side, what you can see is when Lori made this soap, she poured um, a layer of soap on the bottom that she probably used like green clay or something to color. And then she put a little stripe of something there in the middle. I'm not sure what that is. It shows you how creative you could be with handmade soap. And then the top layer looks like probably pink clay that was added to a soap base and then poured on the top there. So you can see from this variety here that you can use layering, you can use swirling techniques and different kinds of colors. You can also put other natural ingredients in your soap to give it some really nice texture. So I'm going to give you three resources where you can go to learn more about making handmade soap. The first is IndieBeauty.com. There's lots of information there by Indie Beauty Network members, including an events calendar. The events calendar is what you can click on and you can find soap making classes and all kinds of other classes and events in your area so you can connect with Indie Beauty Network members. The second resource is MangoButter.com. MangoButter.com is a supplier resource listing. You can go there and you can find supplies for all kinds of products that you want to make and also services that Indie Beauty Network members provide to help you make your products and start your business. And last but not least, you can visit thenovastudio.com where you can meet Lori Nova and also find out all about all the great classes that she offers at the Nova Studio outside San Francisco, California. I hope you've enjoyed this time in my Indie Beauty bathtub. I am going to go and take a bath. Mm. See you later, guys.